If you've ever learned anything about evolution, there's a good chance that you've seen a diagram like this at some point. This is called a phylogeny, or an evolutionary tree. These trees can be powerful teaching tools, because they succinctly boil down all of the evidence that we have, and allow anybody to easily see the evolutionary history of and the relationships between different species. Here's how you actually read one of these diagrams. This point here represents a creature that is not a cat, and is not a human, but rather is the common ancestor of both cats and humans. It didn't look anything like a cat or a human, but its descendants, represented by the lines, eventually evolved into both cats and humans. Going back further on the tree, we find another creature that isn't a frog, and isn't a lizard, and isn't a bird, and isn't a cat, and isn't a human, and didn't look anything like any of us, but is all of our common ancestor. And its descendants eventually evolved into everybody here represented on this graph.